I'm going to take this middle one first. Painting this, these beads are exactly like painting an eyeball. You have to pay real attention to where the highlights and shadows are on them, the, the intensity of the highlights and shadows, and then where the very distinct final highlights are. And then it gives it not only the glossy appearance, but the round appearance. Okay, now, I'm fairly satisfied with the color, even though, you know, even though it's not exactly the same as, as my real beads, it's pretty darn close. Now, you see, I, I've, I've got the dark, I got the middle, now I'm sort of lightening up a little bit more in the middle of the thing preparing to put in the final um, highlight, but I wait till the very last thing. I'm going to go and I'm going to put in this, I'm taking some actually some black, I want to put in these little black beads that are next to it. I want to define those a little bit more. Because they're important. As you can see, I'm just sort of drawing these things with my little Series 7 brush. Making sure that they're round. Okay, now I've done these four beads are pretty close. I think actually I could use a little, little bit more shadow right around the edges of them and I'm going to even add a little bit of red. Not that there's any red in them but the red seems to give it a more lifelike quality in the shadows because I my my eye sort of sees a hint of red and I don't but I don't think there's any really any red in it. It just looks like there is and, uh, and in this kind of work you've got to go with what you what you see or what you think you see, <laughs> you know? Okay. Now, I'm going to lighten up a little bit towards the, the top left-hand corner. On this one, the top left-hand corner, right in there, is where this highlight's going to be. But it lightens itself up a little bit approaching that highlight. The same with this one. This one's on the top left too. And this one, this, this one too. I'm just looking at them one at a time and just paying attention. Now as we get to this one over here, it start we're starting to move to the other side of my head and the, and the highlight is taking on a new thing. It's not quite so strong. This one here, now I'm going to put in the main highlight. Here we go. I get a good dab of white. Make sure my brush is clean. Get a dab of white. Pay close attention. It's like, it's like making a putt. I keep looking at the hole so I know what the read is. Now I'm looking at this dot, where it's going to go, and then I make my move. It goes right there. And this one goes right there too. And now this one is really there, but it's not quite so strong. So that looks pretty darn good right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little lighter color because there's a, what they call a back shadow, which is a... I mean, Back, a backlit area, right down in there, one right there, one right there, if 
Pretty cool, huh? Okay. <clears throat> now, those are those are not too bad. I'm gonna go. I mean, there's a little highlights right in the middle of this little these little black beads in the front here. That's a little too light, so I'm putting a highlight on those. It's very subtle, so it's not a real bright, strong thing. It's very subtle. Well, it looks pretty darn good right there, I'm telling you. Now, I have a set of beads up above here. I'm going to do these at the sort of at the same time, give you an idea. I'm going to define it has a very strong shadows. It's separated by, there's these oval shaped beads, and then there's a little bead in between. So I'm outlining because it, to me it looks very, there's a very strong outline of these particular beads. There's some sort of, I don't know what they are. What are they? Pearls, rice pearls. Oh, they're pearls, rice pearls. Anyway, I'm defining them. And they're kind of, a, they have this sort of iridescent purpley kind of a nondescript color. And so I'm kind of giving them, they're all a little bit different looking. Some are a little redder and pinker and I'm, I'm just defining them a little bit. And now each one of those also has a highlight. Some are more stronger than others, depending on... And they're right on the edge. Right on the top edge on this side. As we move over, they go into the middle of the pearl. That when I add a little bit of red, ready burnt sienna to it, it gives it a different hue. This one is the same way. I'm going to make it lighter. And this one too. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now I'm going back to my pearls again on the bottom. I mean, uh, not the pearls, but the stones down here. I'm going to lighten up. I, I feel like it needs a little bit more light. I'm exaggerating all this, by the way, a little bit more than it. But I'm exaggerating it on purpose. How many? I'm gonna go. Going back, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a couple more of these pearls here. Now the brightest ones in my eye are the first ones that I did. And all these other ones are just a little bit. Seem like they're just a little bit more in shadow. But I'm going back and I'm... I'm uh, putting in the middle green, sort of identifying them. Repeating the process that we did a minute ago. Identifying them. Now I'm going to put in some shadows around them. <clears throat> 